Ever want to go from this? To this? Then follow this tutorial to know what you gotta do. But first, a word from this video's sponsor, Govi. Govi is a LED light company that specializes in strip lights. As you can see from this picture, the lights are off, so you can't really see much. Now, observe this second picture. Despite my lack of a good camera and my terrible skills at photography, it looks pretty good, right? I got this about a week ago. I am very happy with it so far. The light has three modes. Seed mode. Color mode. Music mode. Isn't that kind of cool? It like lights up to my voice. It's kind of quirky, not gonna lie. My personal favorite mode is scene mode, and I use a custom color scheme to make it look how I want. Click the links in the description below for a 10% coupon before October 23rd. Alright, welcome to like my flip and set tutorial. So, uh, basically, for the last, like, long time, everybody's been wanting me to create a flip and set tutorial. Now, I could have, like, just been like, okay, go train. That's what I just tell everyone, but but I need views and stuff, so that's not gonna work, so I'm, like, actually gonna give, like, tips and stuff. So, tip number one, go, options, controls, find, arrow, right, and left, bind them to buttons. Uh, just make sure that you can click them, and they're not, like, over, also, like, jump or something, because that would be dumb. Do that. So now you can jump in the air and you don't have to deal with like normal air roll and holding your joystick. You just hold right or hold your air roll right or left and it'll just rotate your car without any other input. So you can do twists like this. Uh, so for everybody who's just like, uh, how do you, how do you, uh, not immediately go down? How does your car not do this every time you get a flip, every time you jump? I I'm not jumping, I'm stalling. This is a stall. This is a jump. Stall? Jump. Uh, how is stall? Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold, like, an air roll direction, right or left. I use right, and I don't, there's literally no difference between the two once you get good at it, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. I'd recommend right, because I'm just gonna base on right. Alright, now because shadow play is, like, terrible or whatever, uh, the part where I explained how to stall just got deleted, so, air roll right, and then left on your joystick, then jump. So, ju just, if you want to just do it, like, just to do it and figure out, like, what it is and what you need to do, just on your controller, hold arrow right, hold directly left, and then jump twice. That'll just make you do a quick stall. It's just a flip with no direction. Yeah, okay, back to, like, the footage. I'm, I'm still in the middle of editing, so I might come back here because... Uh, Shadow Play might have deleted it in more areas. We'll do a, a dodge with no direction because it's trying to dodge you in multiple places. Like, like, it's trying to dodge you this way and this way at the same time, so it's like, no, and then it just like... So it's just canceled your vertical momentum. While we're here, uh, he here's the camera settings. These are, yes, uh, here's the video settings and these are the controls. Uh, you guys can, like, pause the video and, like, record them if you want. It doesn't matter what settings you use, just, like, something somewhat reasonable. And you should be fine. So, yeah. Uh, what's next? Alright, the setup. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a ball, you're gonna push it towards a wall. You're gonna separate yourself from the ball, like this. And then you're gonna hit the ball off the wall, then kinda pause on the wall. And, okay, 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 so, bring it up the wall, create separation, right? You're gonna hit the ball off the wall, then, for a very brief moment, like, kind of reverse, so you create separation in the air, then you jump off. Then you rotate yourself upside down and hit the ball with, with the wheels of your car. Uh, by the way, the wheels of the car, don't think of it as literally the wheels of the car, think of it as, like, 
Your suspension? So, like... Okay, so the car- the, the ball isn't, like, actually... Uh, like, the car- some cars have a better visual representation than others. Like, the breakout, for example, it- you can get flip resets that are like, it doesn't look like it's touching the front of the, or of the car at all. Because if you look here, it's literally just piercing the ball. Like the front end of the car. Uh, the Octane, it's also kind of like, it, it, you just get used to it. It's, it's, but it's not the wheels. You just say the wheels because, like, the hitbox of the suspension, uh, object thing is like too long to say. You just call it the wheels. I, I mean, if you have an extraordinarily high IQ, like that one guy that my friend met in Unranked, you could consider each one of the wheels a flip reset. Uh, I hold the world record of 60 flip resets, apparently, if this is the case. Alright, so just like, yeah, this is, this is how you flip reset. Alright, you know what? And everybody's been asking me for the training pack. Uh, so you have two options. You can just put a ball near a wall. Uh, so just like, put the ball over here. Oh yeah, the teleporting the ball onto me and like shooting it and stuff like in training. That's, it's called Bacchus Mod. It's only for PC. You download it. Uh, but you put a ball near a wall and then there you go. That's your training pack. But if you, if you really insist on like me giving you your, or my training pack, uh, I, I made one, a special one. It's, it's a ball near a wall. But it, trust me, it's special, it provides magical energy that will cause you to get, like, infinity flip resets in one shot instantly. Yeah, you, th there definitely won't be, like, hundreds of hours of just grinding, like, chaining resets before you'll be able to even get, like, four or five. You'll just enter this training pack and immediately, just like, the second, you will be able to do everything. This is, this is how it works, guys. Uh, so what you're gonna do is, uh, enter the training code 8 3 6 6 